Hey everyone, how's it going today? JDK here again, and today we're going to be looking at a game called The Sewer Goblet. Um, I'm coming into this completely blind. I don't know what to expect from it. It seems really, really bizarre. It's um, made by the same people who made um, Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. So, you know, it's weird. Like, that game was weird. They're making a sequel to it soon, and it looks weird. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to think about this game. I just hope that it's fun, you know? It might be entertaining commentary or entertaining to watch, at least. Um, this is a... From the looks of it, I found it on the website of the people who make, uh, are making Ninja... Or, what? Ninja? Ninja guy, and I got <laughs> confused with. But, um... People making Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. Uh, it's on their website. And it looks like a roguelike that features the Wu Tang Clan. And, you know, I like the Wu Tang Clan and everything, but I've never been like a huge fan of them. I don't know all like the mythology behind the Wu Tang Clan. So we're gonna uh, <laughs> check this out and see how it goes. So far, there's like a story at the beginning and it's just terrible looking graphics. I did start the game once and like move the character around to see if the frame rate would drop or get better or whatever. I didn't actually play the game, I just moved the character around a little bit. And the graphics did get better than this. This is just the intro story, which I don't know how long the whole thing is gonna be, but if it lasts too much longer, I'm just gonna skip through it. Because, uh, heck, I don't even know what's going on right now. So, <laughs> this must be the Wu-Tang Clan sitting here throwing footballs around. Oh, whoa, there's a wizard. That baby. Yeah, this is a strange game, I can already tell. But, um, let's see what happens here. Yeah, I was, I'm wondering, is this music, Wu Tang Clan music, also? Or did they just use some sort of, like, repetitive MIDI for the um, sound effects? I know the dialogue that was in the original, uh, or was in Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden was really good. <laughs> like, there's a lot of really funny stuff in it. And I can't believe the sequels, like, had a successful Kickstarter that's, like, they made over $100,000 to make the second one. That's how popular the first one was. Which, I mean, it was just a shittily made RPG Maker game. I mean, I mean, I guess it wasn't that. It wasn't that poorly made, but it wasn't, like, some sort of masterpiece. I wonder if it's, like, one of the most successful games that was, uh, you know successful turnouts from a Kickstarter that from a game that was made on the original RPG Maker. I think it was made with the RPG Maker 2000, but it might have been made with 2003. I used to use the RPG Makers a lot. They were cool. Um, I tried like making a handful of different games without much results. Like the longest game I think I ever made out of it. Like I got a few dungeons done and like the basic story done and stuff like that. And like, you know, it was like maybe three hours worth of gameplay, but I wish I would have stuck with it and, like, finished some game out. My problem was I never, like, got an outline of what I was supposed to do. Or what was supposed to happen in the game. It just kind of, like, came to me as it went. And then I'd design a bunch of sprites and, like, make a bunch of maps. And, like, alright, time to do this dungeon. And I wasn't good with, like, the script, the action script or whatever that you use for the for like programming the game outside of, like, you know, the basic stuff in the game. Like, I can I could do all kinds of cool stuff, like overlays and, uh do the switches and make it so certain things happen at certain times but depending on what's going on through like switches and I was good at like uh, sprite making but I wasn't very good at uh, the action script I wasn't able to customize the game at all and like everyone was making all these crazy custom battle systems and stuff like that so uh, I stopped making them I got, I got disheartened in the uh, RPG maker community yeah this is like too much story going on if you want to read the story, you can go ahead and uh, download the game yourself. Let's let's skip ahead. Uh, enter a 2 to 15 character name to begin. See, I already have a J over there. So I'm just going to click in J to K to get started here. And then you can uh, <laughs> pick the different Wu-Tang Clan members to play as to start off with. Like, I want to play as a uh, Old Dirty Bastard. But, uh, Necromancy is old. Yeah, this is like, whoever made this actually knows. 
knows about the Wu-Tang Clan, obviously, are big fans of it, because I don't, I don't know anyone, but, was it, where's Riz at, there he is, he's the guy who did the Kill Bill soundtrack, I know that, Master Kill, let's, uh, let's just VODB, I listen to his music, out of everything that came out of Wu-Tang Clan, I listen to his stuff the most, oh man, That's that music. I was like, what's that sound? That hip sound. It's just the music in the game. Okay, there's ladders. I wonder if this is randomly uh, generated or what. Okay, what's this? Okay. W to descend or to ascend. Okay. To ascend. Okay. Alright. I know there's like a shooting button to spell over any blood. I have to use that. Okay, what is my different spells. Punish hunger, no spell. I only have one spell. W, no item to pick up. E. Okay, that's how I attack. You do attack, okay. What's this W? There's a crucial tank snack on the ground. Press W to pick it up, okay. Wow. We want to press space to view items. Okay, there's the inventory. Fine, Jankum. Wow. Going hungry. I think it's the first time I've ever seen Jankum in a video game. I always make a joke about that. You guys don't know what Jankum is? It's, uh... <laughs> look it up. You should look it up on Wikipedia if you don't know what Jankum is. It's like fermented shit that people huff, I think, in order to get high. What is this? There's a flame cyclone down there. You to pick it up. Okay, what is this? What is a flame cyclone? Shoot a cyclone in flame. Hey, look at that. Press E to learn. Alright. Cannot learn spell. Either another spell slot or not high enough level to learn. Okay, well, do I still keep that? Yeah. Okay. You have to be level 2 to play. Okay. You have to be level 2 to do that. Let's. Oh, there's a bat. Let's try to get some uh, gameplay going. Yeah, this, is play this plays just like a classic roguelike game or a rogue. So, I actually try to equip that bat. And here is hunger. Oh, it uses hunger in order to use it. So, your hunger is kind of like your MP or whatever, but you have to replenish it. It's just like hunger. E to equip your weapon. I don't have a weapon, so I don't think. Oh, I have these little ninja things. Damage 8, accuracy 100, damage 9, accuracy 90. I'll, I'll try the baseball bat. Oh, there's a gun. Gun better. I want to get some action. Where's the action at? Freeze 3, accuracy 120, damage 5. Let's uh, equip that. The Glock. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's uh, try to find some bad guys or something here. This looks like a a loot quest type game. Okay, there's a W there too. A lime Wu Tang snack. Okay. Do you have bullets to shoot? Oh, so you have to have bullets and fire gun to run into any bad guys. Let's just equip the bat again. Let's move along here. There's another ladder. But knowing other roguelike games, you want to go through the whole floor and pick up everything. But I have hunger, so I don't want to waste my hunger either. W to pick up, E to attack, and Q to cast a spell. Oh, there's a bad guy. Let's attack him. Okay, good, good. Bad guy, one. Okay, he's badly wounded. I'm fine. Kill this bastard. Alright. Killed the gas, go gas goblin. I lost 10 HP in that. Okay, let's see. Up. No item to pick up? Uh, what is that? Okay, a whole bunch of bad guys. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, read the whole storyline because uh, so far this is just a straight up. My hunger's getting low. Turns yellow. It's pretty much just a straight up. Uh... Ooh, what was that? Trap sprung. You failed the trap and lost seven hit points. That sucks. This is just like a straight up roguelike game though. There's heat brass on the ground. What the hell's what the fuck is heat brass? Let's see what heat brass is. 
Oh. It's a spell. Let's learn that. I can learn that because I'm level one. You aren't heat brass. Cost 25. Does it cost 25 hunger, I'm guessing? I, I just assume it costs 25 hunger. Get everything here, move on. The ladder going up. Do I want to go up? Do I want to go down? These ones. Same thing as the other ones. Bunch of loot. Reminds me of this game, like Pixel Dungeon on the Android or something like that. It just really just reminds me of Rogue. Or, uh, what's that net hack game? Ooh, my life's slow. Let's, let's try to use some things. Some things. Something to eat and see if it fills up my life. Chomp chomp, your eyes and senses are greatly sharpened. Vision plus one. Okay, that doesn't even fill up my life. Do the blue ones give you vision though, I'm assuming. I don't want to do that. What else is food though? Butane snack. They like give me, those are like pills and binding of Isaac, I'm guessing. I don't know if they're temporary or they're permanent, but let's find out. Okay, this, this fills up my life. 66% of my life, well I'm below 66%, so I might as well use that. Yeah, filled up to 28. This is so damn weird to buy sort of hunger 50%. Okay. I wanna need more food. What's oh, is that a bee attacking me? A fucking bumblebee attacking me? What a weird game. African killer bee. Man, I hope this game isn't like racist because like there's African shit in this and like, there was totally Jankum, and you know, it's like, I guess, something, I don't actually know where Jankum came from, I think it's like African or something, now I'm sounding racist, which I'm not trying to be at all, I don't know where Jankum came from, I'm just, <laughs> if you know where Jankum came from, let me know, there's a knife, let's find out what all this stuff is, okay, I have to be level 3 to learn that one, but I can learn this one now, Flame Cyclone, your weapon has way better or way less hunger per use half as much as a bat but it does two less damage it has better accuracy though i mean i can attack twice with it and do you know 14 damage it's the same amount of hunger as my bat and i won't miss with it because it's 130 accuracy i don't know if i'll miss with it i don't know what the stats are in this game but i'm assuming that i won't miss with it Let's, pick, let's equip this and try it out. It's a dirt. Alright, let's go move along here. Who's this thing? Let's find out. Attack it. Babby Seal. Okay. Babby Seal. <laughs> oh, but that's also, they have a chance to hit me twice when I can hit them once. So I should totally be careful about that too. If I had my baseball bat, I would have totally been able to, <laughs> to club a seal. <laughs> That's messed up. ODB running around through some dungeons, clubbing some baby seals. I wonder if this was made before ODB died. I'm still sad that he's dead. W to ascend. Alright. Let's go to the next level. Might as well try out the next level. Now it looks like everything's brown. Um, the frame rate just dropped a lot right there. There's a wound heal on the ground. I wonder what level I have to be to learn that. Level 1, let's learn it. Cyclone, flame. let's do that for now. Oh yeah, there's the next way down. Well, it seems like this game actually might be uh, not randomly generated. Accidentally hitting instead of picking up stuff. Oh, there was a spike there. I, I dodged it though. The key. Pick up the key. Because, like, those little squares there look. Uh, this is crap. Did some damage to me. But, uh. The level design seems like it's intentional. I don't know if it's randomly generated or not. I didn't really look at the website that this was on too well, so I don't even know. 
And this game automatically saves too, so that's kind of cool. Whenever you leave, you just have to put in the same name that you use when you first register your character. Uh, what a fucking weird game. This looks like it was made with like RPG Maker 95 or something though. The, the graphics remind me of that, like the water right there. I messed with that one a little bit, but by the time I got into RPG Maker, like 2000 just came out. I remember there was a, it was like a shitty fan translation. This guy named uh, Don Miguel, Miguel from Russia translated it. Like using a uh, Babelfish, he just put the Japanese in there and like translated it and programmed, you know, backwards. Uh, I don't know what the hell is that called? Reverse engineering, not <laughs> backwards compatibility is what I was thinking. But yeah, he reverse engineered the program and uh, or used a hex editor, I think, to change what uh, everything was. And he just used Babelfish to translate the Japanese into English. So there was all kinds of really, um, really poorly translated stuff going on in that game in the game maker so half the people didn't know what the hell a lot of the things did for a long time and over over like a year or two i remember actually learning what most of the things you were supposed to be able to do in that game or not in the game in the the program the editing program uh, this is a sewer dog kill this bastard killed it as odb you can gulp blood to replenish your hunger from the blood pool out oh, right there gulp blood Kneel down looking the block for for nutrients. <laughs> Hunger thir plus thirty three percent. Right on. That's awesome. That's actually a pretty good uh, little skill perk. See, like roguelites recently have a uh, became really popular again, and there's all kinds of these that were made over the years. People made like their own versions of a rogue, and uh, they never got popular. But like with Dungeons of Dread Dreadmore, there's another one. Cool blood. Yeah, I got more hunger than I can actually hold. But uh, Drudge, Dungeons of Dreadmore and a lot of games that came out like that, like there was like a resurgence in rogues and roguelikes. And uh, roguelites and whatever the hell else. Roguelike likes. I mean, and there's like, you know, Binding of Isaac. And people are really getting into them because like they're hard. They, they present a challenge and... Um, that's another bad guy. They present a challenge and uh, people are into that, I guess. The permadeath and all that. <laughs> With this game, though, it doesn't seem too difficult. I don't know if it was meant to be difficult or what, because it doesn't. Even, I'm not even close to dying from any of this yet. Go for blood again. I, don't, I haven't seen how my HP uh, refills itself either. Does it just slowly refill over time? Because I know that I haven't used much healing stuff, and my life has replenished. Bullets on the ground. There we go. How many bullets is there? 21. Let's uh, equip that gun. The Glock. Um, you to equip. There we go. Leave that. And then we'll uh, go down. I wonder if I'm going to have to go back up at one point to get to where I need to go or just keep going down. There's down again. Let's uh, explore a little bit first since I have so much hunger. Like, or my, my hunger level is not really high or low. Okay, let's get all this stuff. Maybe I should go through all the W's and see what they do real quick. There's nunchucks. Nunchakus. Uh, let's see what the different W's do. Let's use one. The E to eat that. Very special. Okay. I don't know what that did. A lime utensil. Resisted poison. Okay. Okay, what does the red do? Life flash for as you know, <laughs> feel yourself. Transmogrified. Wow, what am I? A ghost? And I think that sucks. What's this do? That teleported me. <laughs> Transmogrified, okay, yeah. They they explain what they do after you get up to. So it's just like the pills. I mean, turquoise. African Pinochet and Wounds have healed. Oh, right on. Keep that one for later. Does it explain it? Yep, healing. E, lemon. If you take a bite, you can no longer see your hands. Invisibility. That's cool. Let's 
across it. A million ice points. Condition restored. Okay, whatever that means. I must have been if like uh, I have like poison or something going on that that uh heals me. Let's see that does. Have time to search around you while eating a sack. Time has stopped a few turns. That's cool too. All right. Well, now I know what all the different colors are that you know that I picked up so far. Let's move on. Just let's move on to the next. Oh, there's a trap there. Okay. Yeah, I, I dodged it. Let's go down the trap or is it down the, the ladder? Oh man, that music. What did this one do again? Oh, restore That one filled up my life. That, these will be useful. I know that. I was hoping, since this was like a roguelike, I was hoping that like it'd only take you like a half hour to do a run or something like that, because you know, most roguelikes are like that. I wonder if this is like an endless one, though. That's why everything seems so easy. Ghost. But I can totally shoot things now. I forgot. Uh, it, it doesn't say my amp. Tell me what my ammo is on the... I don't know. I can... Wow. It doesn't tell me what my ammo is on the main screen, though. That kind of sucks. Let's keep going here. Kill the ghost. What is this one? Auburn. I haven't used it yet. Let's try it. Let's see what the Auburn one does. Yeah, so far this is really, really, really easy. Find that knows it's all. Message inside. Your stocks will drop many percentage points. Wow. <laughs> um, because I don't have much more time to play this. I have like I can play this maybe five more minutes, and I'm gonna have to end this video and resume another time. Oh, I just shot without needing to shoot. We'll just keep going. Kill this guy. What is this guy? Security guard. Kill the security guard. I don't know. Maybe I'll die here. Yep. Gulp up his blood. <laughs> Man. This game is out there. Keep, uh, keep killing these guys. Hey, quiet. My dog's barking for no reason. Oh, I don't have any bullets. Let's equip something else. The Nunchaku. No, uh, let's do the baseball bat. I like the baseball bat. Let's see what happens here. Kill the security guard. Grapes. Move on to the next level. I should have picked up that turquoise thing. Banana monkey. Kill this guy. Come on. How many does he take? Is this like the final boss or something? You are badly wounded. Oh, there we go. Kill them. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna die in the next two or three minutes, so let's run around here and see what's up. Okay, that's uh, way down. Let's slip through these little, little walls here. Okay, there's a E. That there we go. Magenta. What's magenta do? Let's find out. Slow and snag and no longer feel hungry at all. Hunger, hunger restored. Actually lowered my hunger. <laughs> Even though it's like at max, it was higher than max because I was drinking blood off the ground. So DB. Wound kill. I think I already have that, but let's pick it up anyway. There was something I needed to be level 3 at to learn too. I think it was a, a wound heal. And I could have just learned that anyway. What else was it then? This one. Smiting. Let's see. And there's spell slot. I think I'd probably use all my spell, spell slots right now. But there's a thief. Let's kill this stuff. And we can just skip on to the next floor. And then we'll stop at the next floor. Alright, uh, oops. Join on to the next floor and see what's up. Yep, there we are. What floor is this anyway? It doesn't even tell. Oh, level 7 of the sewers. So, I don't know how many levels there are in this whole thing. I'll, maybe I'll look through, like, see if there's, like, a wiki for this or something, or go on the website and see, like, the guide. Because I read the, the fact, not the fact, um, 
the README that came with the game to learn the controls and stuff like that. And this game actually seems pretty interesting, and uh, I might come back to this and play this regularly. Um, if you enjoyed watching me play it, let me know. Leave, uh, leave a message. And if you want to watch more videos by me, uh, subscribe. You can subscribe to me on Twitter also, or follow me on Twitter. That's what you're supposed to do. And hitting the like button on the video will help me out a lot. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.